Hi, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. We're going to walk you through generating what's called auto reports in PDQ inventory. This is the ability for you to take reports that you've built and have them uh, automatically generated on a schedule. Maybe you want to have these run on a Friday afternoon or a Monday morning or something. Uh, so this is the ability to automatically generate these, these uh, reports so that you don't have to manually do it. To uh, create an auto report, you can go to the auto reports node and click on new. By the way, this is an enterprise level feature. Create new, and there's your report. I'll also show you another way of doing this. I'm going to go to a custom reports folder that I've got. And I, let's do uh, Mozilla Firefox. This will show us the old uh, machines that have the old version. You can see attached to auto report. I'm just going to say new auto report since I don't have any selected. This gives me the name of this auto report. Now keep in mind, you can have multiple inventory reports attached to this. So uh, if you do that, you know, you wouldn't want to call this Firefox, maybe like Wednesday reports or something like that. The path, where do you want this stored? We're going to use a UNC path. I've got a file server out there called Token. Uh, deploy auto reports is the, is the path. And the file name. Now you can type in a file name, but we recommend that you use uh, these preset variables that we've got. And you can see just the drop down gives you some of the more common ones. I'm going to choose maybe the report name and the date. If you want to choose additional variables, you can click the variable button over here. And you can select all the different uh, variables that you want. And the format, instead of a CSV, I'm going to change this to a PDF. Perfect. And then what schedule? If you're familiar with uh, PDQ Deploy, you've seen schedules before. It's the same uh, schedule editor. We'll do this um, weekly, and we'll do it on Monday and Friday. How's that sound? And we'll do it at yeah, 8 o'clock PM. There we go. And then the mail. Now you have to have your mail configured in preferences if you haven't done that yet. But now we get to specify where we want this sent to. So maybe we want to send this to uh, uh, L. There we go. So you just type in for this particular uh, auto report, you know, the, the addresses that you want this to go to. There we go. And you can also specify CCs if you want, you know, manager at Deadwood. Perfect. Of course, spelling is important. And if you want to have a subject, you can also do uh, variables there, or you can just do uh, Firefox report in this case. All right. And then if you want to have uh, any text in here, here is your report. Something like that. You get the idea. Now, this is where you can also attach. Remember, we've already attached one, the Mozilla Firefox. If you want to attach additional reports to this schedule, you may do so by simply attaching or obviously detaching. We'll say OK. And now in the auto reports, we will see one report right there. And um, now, I, I, now I know that this is going to be generated. Not only will it go out and create this report um, in, that file, in that file path that I specified, it will also email to those recipients. All right, if you have any questions, by all means, hit us up on our support forums. I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.